Maris Locum 23, you're joining me for Calendar Girl, Chapter 10. The last item on your beauty agenda is here. Yep, and then I'm off to Seattle to meet Mr. February. Dollface, let me level with you as your auntie, not your boss. Most of the hairdressers, clients, or stars would like Gina DeLuca. Later that day at the hair salon, you're quiet and polite. Gina's crushing on Wes, her hot, famous, talented writer and director. Who can blame her? And of course she hates me, a nobody. She named me, he named her character after me, and he broke his heart. The first magazine you pick up has Gina on the cover. Now he's all hers, because I refused to offer to pay off Dad's debt and left. Wait, why did I split on the only truly amazing man I've ever had feelings for? Oh, right, because I don't want to owe Wes. I can't. I can take care of myself. Soon, it's your turn to take a seat in front of the mirror. Time to decide on my fabulous new look. I'm going with... I like my hair as it is. So, this is what I was talking about in uh, the end of Vampires I Love Mermaids. People going, They plagiarized the hairstyle! No. You can't plagiarize a hairstyle. Shut the ever-loving... Uh, the hairstyle I'm rocking. All right, time to go conquer the Pacific Northwest. I like her hair as it is. She was already gorgeous. Beautiful, long red hair. You arrive in front of what looks like an abandoned factory and ring the bell. The wait gives you just enough time to answer Jin's text. Hey, maybe it won't be so bad. If I learned anything from being with Wes, it's not to assume anything. The door opens and a handsome man with chiseled cheekbones checks you out. Alas, my muse arrives. I am Alec Du Bois. Du Bois? Du Bois. Your panties get a, a little damp at the sound of his voice and his French accent. Oh, he's French. Well, that would have been nice to know. We're not doing it. Let's just stick with what we got. Follow me, Mia. Moment later, you step out of the industrial elevator into the artist studio. We've learned I don't do French very well. Merci beaucoup. We vive la France. If this makes your panties wet, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> you see photography equipment on the other side. You are so fascinated, you don't hear Alec come up behind you. Perfection. He leans towards your neck and plants a kiss on your sensitive skin. How about we talk first? Turn around and take a step back. The heel of your boot gets caught in the rug. Your arm pinwheels and you fall. Majoli, are you all right? Let me help you up. Alec grabs both your hands and pulls you up to your feet. You startled me. How embarrassing. It is I who is embarrassed. I don't mean to frighten you. Your beauty is far beyond the likes of any mere model. I had to press my lips against your delectable skin. I'm torn between feeling flattered and laughing. He's the client, and I don't know him yet, but he is smoking on. This is going to be a long month if we're not on the same page. This is an opportunity to set a boundary. I am Mia, your model. Pleased to meet you. Ah, but I feel like I've always known you. That's wonderful. Then you're already aware that I want to get to know you before there's any... Touching. Beauty and spirit. Is it going to be... Goddamn French. Oi moi jex. Joy X. Ah, well, good. As long as we agree. You take a step towards him. Ow! Oh my, you're really hurt. Yeah, apparently. He swoops in, swoops you into his arms, and a classic princess carry. He sets you down in a pile of cushions and arranges them around you. Is there an emergency clinic around her? Uh, oh Christ, me mother... <clears throat> Try doing the James, A.K. William voice, while doing French. It's f***ing hard. No se nos pas necessaire. Uh, I myself have emergency training. Can we stick to English, please? An artist and a medic. Interesting. Uh, one should always have, as you say, the backup. Despite the pain in your ankle, you feel yourself clench between your legs. 
His accent, his concern, the look in his eyes, it's all a major turn on. He managed to get your boot off without hurting you too much. Oh no, not again. Stare at your red and green holiday socks. Steal a glance at Alec. Your socks. That's a divilling enchanting, my Julie. I'm glad you think so. Your his examination is gentle and deft. Well, it's not broken, just a sprain. Though no doubt, very painful. You must keep your weight off this injury for some time. This place is packed with stairs, and I'm gonna need to get crutches. Every time I use crutches, they rub raw the skin under my arms. And he won't want a damaged model. How will I pay off Blaine if I can't work this job? Lovely me, what is the matter? Your face has so many expressions, and some have fear. You look so kind. I feel like I can trust him, but should I? I'm going to tell him everything. I'm scared you won't want me if I do the job if I'm damaged. Major Lee, who has hurt you so? What? I'm talking about my ankle and my armpits if I hop around on crutches. Are you? And the armpits, not a problem. You should put the weight on your hands, not the top of the crutch. Thank you! But I will carry you, not the crutches. The rest, you are not damaged to my eye. But the feeling of being damaged, that will only enhance the art you and I will to make. I will perfect carry. I'll take perfect care of you, Majoli. You needn't worry for a thing. He leans down and scoops you up again. He isn't as tall or as broad as Wes, but he carries you as if you were a feather. Where are we going? Taking you upstairs to the home so you can rest. You must be tired after traveling. I've kind of settled on this voice for him. I hope it's good. And you must rest your ankle as well as the rest of you. I'm sorry about this whole mess. I'm supposed to be the spectacular muse, but I'm not off to much of a start. You are most spectacular, the finest features. Your face is in two. Is, your face, too, is a perfect mirror image. I don't know what you mean. He carries you up a flight of stairs and into what are clearly his living quarters. It's another enormous open space, but this one has furniture. And more stairs, of course, and that loft is probably where my bed is, too. He deposits you gently on his couch. Now, your question about mirror images. He lifts a hand and with one finger traces the center of your face. His fingertip slides from your hairline down your forehead and nose, across your lips, and stops on your chin. A shiver ripples through you at his heated touch. He's looking as if, at me if, as if I were the most beautiful woman in the world. Wes looked at me like that. Hell, Wes made me feel that way. No, not thinking about it. Wes and me, we were not an item. You're an idiot. Friends with benefits, absolutely. Maybe more. One day. Okay, half an idiot. Your face, it changes with the sky on a windy winter day. It is perfect for what I must have. But your question, I will answer with this. One side is exactly the mirror of the other. So is everyone's. Oh no, my joy, Jolie. They would not be exactly symmetrical. Your face is, it is perfection, equal on both sides. You are unique. I'm not sure what to say. Should I be polite or find out what my job is? Alec, uh, what do you need me to do? I don't know. The spirit will move and then I will paint, take photo photographs, or a blend of two. You will see, you will journey with me. Tomorrow we start work. We? Today, you rest. He places a firm kiss on each of your cheeks and strides out of the room. You can still feel the warmth of his hands on your shoulders and your phone buzzes. So are you ever going to text me back? I fell and busted my ankle in the first five minutes. Oh no, are you okay? 
apparently the hottest Frenchman on the planet is going to carry me around. Boo-hoo, poor you! I'm going to hop crawl to the shower now. You do exactly that. You're clean and dry when Alec returns. He pulls up the coffee table and lays out a selection of Chinese takeout boxes. Then he takes your face in his hands and kisses both cheeks. This kissing thing should really annoy me, but for some reason it's charming. Well, it's kind of what they do, so... Yeah. How are you, my jo Jolie? I'm in pain is how I am, but I, do I want to complain? It's unattractive, although he seems to be, like, taking care of me. Uh, thanks, Alec. What does Majoli mean? It translates to my pretty in English. Catches your eye and you stare back. His expression just turned feral like he's hunting me. Delectable, as I said. He's looking at me like he's going to devour me. Your fresh, perfectly dry panties are no longer immaculate. Are you hungry? Yes. I hope you like Chinese food. Seattle has many excellent choices. Grab a pair of chopsticks and dig in. Hmm. Oh god, this is amazing. You moan again, then look up. He's watching you. When you moan, his breath breathing picks up. You are startlingly beautiful. He puts his hand on your cheek. You lean your face further into his palm, sealing the connection. He traces your bottom lip with a thumb. Twist le, cuddly, dilly. Oh my cry! I had it halfway. Did do a mond. Uh, sorry, I don't. God's gift to the world. That's what you are, and I intend for everyone to glory in such a gift. You look at him. He takes your plate from your unresisting hands. He leans in and raises an eyebrow. His way of asking for permission. Should I go for it? I'll tease him, kiss him, grant him access. Yes. His kiss is bold and masterful. He takes control immediately, holding you close. At least he tries. You wind your hands around his neck and pull him closer. At your display of passion, Alec growls. He moves his mouth to suck on the tender skin below your ear. Dress your leaf He pulls away. Come, Sherry. There will be plenty of time for us to know each other physically. I want to enjoy you. Anticipate your sweet taste on my tongue. Your smooth skin along the pads of my fingers. Your body on my canvas. That's smooth. That's... You, sir, hats off, man. Tipping it and taking it off. Why are we stopping? Ah... I was completely into it, but he's right. We nearly got carried away. What if I want to get carried away, embrace the physical, try once again to have an affair without falling in love? Do as you request and wait. That's what an artist does. Pull back, breathing hard. Wow. I do believe wow is an understatement. Let's see. Get to know one another on uh, all levels. Only then will the physical manifestation of our joining be as sweet. We're both adults here. It, it doesn't have to have some crazy artistic value. Art is never crazy. You're weird, Frenchman. But whatever you say. <laughs> wow! That just takes me all the way back to the uh, Matrix Revolution. I suspect you won't leave me wrong. I promise you, the next few weeks will be worth it to you. I hope so. Oh, my sweet, you have no idea, but soon you will. Damn! Throwing it on thick, my brother! Damn, and smooth. Like dark chocolate smooth. Mmm! Damn. Take some tips, guys. Um... <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe I should pursue art. No, I used to draw. I used to draw a lot of anime and things like that, but, um, wow. Smooth, man. Smooth. 
That makes that I hope y'all did enjoy the video. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Head down the description below. Links to social media, our Discord, and a few links to support me. Like I said, um, I just think the whole... This is going to be it for me because I have to focus. I really have to focus here um, to get this content pumped out as quickly as possible because um, I've been up since already 9 a.m. this morning. I was so out of it. I got to bed late. I only got four hours sleep. We have a metric ton to do today, including Detroit Becomes Human. I wanted to get that stream going as quickly as possible um, this evening when I go to the pre-release thing um, and then pick up you know, my copy and then also go come home. Um, and hopefully PlayStation isn't going to be a complete derp about it. Hopefully they allow you to play as soon as possible versus the, we have a midnight deadline and we can't do it. Um, uh, hopefully, especially because it's a single player game, they should allow you. Um, without further ado, I think I already did my outro about description, but if not, head on down there. Um, without further ado, I'll catch you all later. Peace.